Okay, so today I'm going to be starting the construction of the seating area at the back um, and also building around the electrical cupboard. So far I've put the batteries in, um, as you can see here. These are our two 48 volt batteries. Um, and I have the side panels here and the other side panel over here. What we've decided to do is build the frame in 2x2 two two timber. We were deciding for a while between building it in 2x2 two two or using 12mm ply for everything. Um, but it worked out that using 2x2 two two with a 6mm ply would create a lighter structure. Um, the, the, the disadvantage that we thought, what I, that I thought about was that with the um, using the uh, six more ply and two by two is you do lose a bit of internal space inside the storage areas because of the thickness of the two by two i think but in this in this situation the weight is more important than the the space you can see here faintly this spiro line um which marks out this marks out where our bench is finished so this will be the foot space this will be where the bench comes to um this is also going to be a raised step area here so we're going to gain some kind of storage space underneath where the feet are going you'll see here one of the access hatches and another one over here um you might remember from one of my previous videos that there's a there's a trunking running beneath the floor underneath this area that comes to this side um i haven't cut it out yet but there will be a, another access hatch here so that's going to be our route for the cables and um, we're not quite at the point of running cables in yet so I'm just leaving trunking and conduits in position at the moment, which I think is a good idea to do anyway. Um, even if you have done some of the wiring, you, you just never know if you're going to want to add something else. It just gives you the capacity to do that. And um, you'll see, so there's a conduit running from here, it runs all the way up to here. Um, and there are two that end up here that also run through the wall of the van to that point. Sometimes when you're trying to get a really snug measurement between two walls, is um, there's a way I like to do it that makes it a bit easier. Um, for example, right now I'm trying to get a measurement between here and here, and when you're bending a tape measure into the corner, it can be a little bit difficult to do it. Um, so what I like to do is, what I like to do in these situations is hold a piece of timber into the corner of where you're trying to take the measurement, and then use the tape measure to measure up to that timber from the other surface you're measuring to. So right now it's this timber plus 131 centimetres exactly. So now I transfer that onto another piece. So fingers crossed, this will be a nice snug fit now. So snug that it stays in place.
Hello again, um, so it's another day and I just want to show you where I got to yesterday. Um, I didn't quite capture the last couple of hours of work yesterday so I'll just give you a little update of where I got to. Um, so here we go. So I fixed the batteries in their final position, um, created a frame around the outside um, with a slight gap along this side so that when I screw things to this panel, um, I can use some decent screws and not risk going through into where the batteries are. Um, so these are super secure now, um, and they can still be lifted out by removing these four screws, albeit very difficultly because they are super heavy. Um, so yeah, but that's that's um, that's kind of how the battery is going to go, and it, this is going to be the electrical cupboard. Um, so I'm hoping that. Can fit almost everything within say this space up to here um, and leave a little bit of storage space here on the right side um, but if it takes up the whole cupboard it's it's really not a problem and um, we'll see how that goes um, other than that um, I've installed the six millimeter plywood to the frame um, and I've still got to do the sides here um, and also I need to create the 18 millimeter tops I'm going to move over to the other side of the van and start with moving this shelf because up here um, we're going to have to lose half of this storage shelf because because we're keeping our double front seat we it's quite difficult to climb over at the moment with this shelf here and um, we're going to sort of leave a headrest out to make it e easier but it's still quite tight so when when we construct the shower wall which is going to come somewhere down here um, I, I will then support the structure of a new shelf off the back of that wall um, and then I've also so as, as well as that I've also got to cut the headliner here in a way that I can still make it look good um, and maybe finish it off with a combination of timber and the headliner but we'll, we'll see how that goes um, as, I, as I build it at the moment I'm not too sure whether to try and retain the part of the structure of the shelf or whether to just remove the whole thing and build a lighter weight timber structure. Um, we're going to end up losing most of it when we cut out the section for the headspace, um, probably somewhere from here and out to here. Um, so I was thinking maybe to cut the metal shelf and reattach it to the roof maybe here and over here. Um, but right now I'm just not, not exactly sure so what I'm going to start doing is, is uh, stripping it apart a little bit just to see how it's all held together and then I'll make a decision from there. Right, uh, so you'll see I very quickly reversed my decision to remove the shelf. I, I started looking into it and it, it, there were so many fixings and hidden locations and there was electrics involved. It probably re involved removing the headline or the storage under here. Um, and I just thought it's actually quite a good structure and it doesn't feel particularly heavy. I could tell once I took a couple of screws out and felt the weight of it, it wasn't too bad. So I thought there's very little benefit in removing everything and then trying to put it all back together to look half decent um, with a timber structure. So I've made a decision to cut the metal shelf in two locations to remove an area of it. Um, and then I'll re-support it with some timber to re-strengthen everything. Um, so what I'm doing right now it's just working out where the shower wall will be. So down here at the bottom, I've put a flat piece of timber spanning across the floor um, and I've put a mark of where the shower wall will finish. And I'm just using a square piece of board to then square that up off of the floor to the top. And um, because you can't really use levels in vans unless the van is sitting perfectly level, which is almost never. So, so this, is, this is probably the easiest way to do it. So allow me to take a line from the bottom up to the top and I'll know where to cut the metal.
Okay, so now that the, the um, shelf up there is all cut out, um, before I start doing too much work overhead, I think it's more logical to um, create the base for the shower tray. So what I'm going to do now is mark out exactly the size of the toilet and shower area. I'm going to have to trim back the oak flooring here a little bit and then glue down a piece of 18mm ply to, that will be, make the base for the shower tray, um, but also make the base for the walls for the bathroom as well. Uh, that way everything is connected together in one piece so that you're less likely to get movement and cracks and things around the joins where the walls meet, the floor and things like that. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna start doing now. So this would be our bathroom. As you'll notice, we kept it slightly narrower at one end to ensure the hallway remains spacious. After much debate over our shower space, we noticed its dimensions might feel a bit crunch once the toilet comes in. To prevent it from becoming too snug lengthwise, we decided to expand it a little. It meant cutting into some of the oak wood we lay down, but it ensures a more comfortable fit in the long run. Let's continue with the storage above the seats. More than a million cuts. Really? Hi, um, so I'm back on the shelving area again today. Um, last night I done a little bit more. Uh, you can see I've, I've glued in these two side pieces here and here. Uh, a lot more work than it looks. Um, just the, the shapes are just so odd up there. Um, so it's just lots and lots of scribing backwards and forwards, lots of cutting until eventually I got the timber, the, uh, the plywood to a shape that I can glue it directly to the van because there's nowhere to fix it. Um, I've put these pieces in to act as um, dividers between the, uh, the storage area and kind of like the holes in the panels at the side there, just to make sure that things, when we push stuff in there, it doesn't fall through. The next job in this area is to insulate the, the ceiling um, and put in the first ceiling panel um, so that it comes this way um, and then the wall for the shower area will join onto the bottom of that ceiling panel. Um, there's a lot more work in this area than I anticipated, to be honest, it's, it's quite complicated. Um, it would probably be one of those things that takes forever and never gets noticed, but it's got to be done, it's got to be done properly, so I'm just going to crack on with this today. I 
just want to show you guys what the final solution was over here. 